Hello everyone. Today's story is from the Indian mythology. The story is of Lord Ganesha and the moon. One day Lord Ganesha was sitting in his room and as you all know he loved to eat and what if the most favorite food of his life right in front of him of course he's going to eat more and what did he see in his big platter over there there were modaks and ladoos oh ganesha's mouth started watering yummy ladoos yummy modaks kept eating he ate one and two and five and ten and thousands of them and Ganesha's stomach started bloating. He became so full that he just couldn't walk. He had to walk like this. Oh, 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 oh. oh! And he didn't want anyone to see him like that. He knew someone or the other is going to laugh at him, and he didn't want that. So he waited for the sun to set, and he decided that when it's dark enough. Then I will move out of the house. He called the Mushak Raj. Yes, his vehicle Mushak Raj. He called him and said, "Once the sun sets down, we are going to go out." He waited and waited. Once the sun had set, Mushak Raj came in, and Ganesha sat on Mushak Raj, and they started moving towards the forest. Then you know what happened. The Lord, the Moon, he started laughing. Oh my God! He saw Ganesha, the huge fat Ganesha, sitting on the little mouse, and he started laughing. <laughs> Ganesha, a oh big fat fat Ganesha, sitting on the little mouse. Oh my God! <laughs> Ganesha spotted the moon, and he saw him laughing at him. He felt very bad, but he thought, "Leave it. I don't mind." And he and he asked Mushakrat to keep walking. Again, the moon started laughing again. <laughs> I wonder why does even Musha carry that huge Ganesha on his back? Oh my god <laughs> what a funny sight is that <laughs> lord ganesha was now furious he was so furious that he called the moon god down he said moon you come down right here in front of me the moon came down and again he just couldn't control his laughter <laughs> Ganesha was furious. He said, "You take pride in your shine, your glitter. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy it for you. From now on, you will lose all your color, all your shine, all your glitter, and you will be dark and black." And suddenly, the moon started losing his shine. He saw it himself. Oh Lord, oh Lord. My shine, my glitter. How will I live like this? I'm so sorry, Lord Ganesha. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ganesha was still angry. The Lord, the Moon Lord, still, still waited for Ganesha to forgive him. Lord, please forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I should not have behaved like that. I had no intention of doing that. Lord Ganesha's anger was little mellowed down now. Mushakraj told Ganesha, "Hey Ganesha, please give him back his color, give him black back his glitter. Otherwise, the world is going to suffer." Lord Ganesha then started thinking, "Hmm, Lord Moon, I can't do much now. I have already said my words and I can't take them back. But what I can do is, I can just tell." That um, what do I do? Okay, your shine will come slowly, slowly, 
slowly and you will turn into a full moon and later on again you will start losing your glitter and become very very small crescent moon and then you will vanish and again reappear that's the best i can do for you right now lord the moon was happy now he was starting to get his color back he was starting to get his glitter back he thanked lord ganesha and said thank you lord i am sorry for what i have done this is how ganesha and the moon story went did you like the story thank you